Hey guys, this is Triforce Plus One, and welcome back to our Pokemon Soul Silver Let's Play. In the last part, we defeated Claire, but we did not receive our eighth uh, Johto Gym badge, and she told us to come here into the Dragon's Den, and we are about to embark on that. All right, so when we go down here, we're going to be confronted by a few trainers. Uh, you, how dare you enter uninvited? Uh, I'm not sure if you got the memo or not, but uh, Claire sent me here. Alright, so this is Ace Trainer Kobe, who's got a Dragonair at level 37. Um, so, <clears throat> in the last video, we uh, took care of uh, some gym business. But unfortunately, Claire was a bitch and didn't give us the uh, last Jota Gym Badge. Which leads us to the um, Dragon's Den in here. Alright, so in Gold and Silver, um, there weren't any trainers for you to fight. But in Crystal, um, there were, and... That's where these trainers came from. Um, their names were a little bit uh, different uh, than they are in this game. But, uh, yeah. Alright, so uh, make sure um, you have a Pokemon that knows Surf. Obviously, that's the only way to get to Dragon's Den. Um, but also, you want, you want to make sure that, uh, a Pokemon, that you have a Pokemon that knows Whirlpool as well. You shouldn't be in here. What the hell? I already told you that Claire sent me here. Jeez. Anyway, this is Ace Trainer Piper, who's got three Pokemon, starting off with a level 33 Horsey. Her next Pokemon is a level 35 Seedra. And her last Pokemon is another level 33 Horsey. Alright, we defeat um, Ace Trainer Piper here, uh, so let's keep going. Um, okay, so... Uh, here's the stairs, actually, I can't see. Um, Alright, so um, we're just going to keep going on here, get my Gyarados to surf across this waterfall. And looky looky, we've got another pair of twins. It's a stranger, so don't know. Who are you? So, as um, per the rules of new twins, um, we have a double battle. Um, twins Clea and Jill, Clea like that, um, both have Dr uh, Dratini at level 35. And um, so we're just going to have this uh, double battle really quickly. Um, I'm just going to send out my Gyarados to do Ice Fang and my Ampharos to do uh, not so damaging Thunder Punch, but uh, hopefully it's, you know, paralyze it or something. Um, I just want to get this over with quickly. Alright, so like I said before, um, Gold, Sil uh, Gold and Silver, uh, the Dragon's Den in Gold and Silver did not have trainers. Um, so you don't have to worry about these uh, trainers in gold and silver, but in crystal they did have Pokemon trainers in, uh, in this uh, Dragon's Den. So yeah. <clears throat> Alright, so we're just going to finish this off by uh, an Ice Fan on that Dratini. You can actually, um, if you're surfing around here, um, you can actually uh, encounter a Dratini, which is... Uh, you know, it's a good uh, Pokemon to have, but it's very difficult to raise, like I said in the last video, um, to get to its final uh, evolved state. Alright, so anyway, um, we go over here, we can pick up a Max Elixir, and in the bottom corner there, you can see that there is a Whirlpool in the water, um, which is why you need a Pokemon that knows Whirlpool. So, um, luckily my Gyarados does know Whirlpool, so we're just going to use Whirlpool! And uh, the effect of swimming over the whirlpool is pretty cool. All right, so when you uh, swim over the whirlpool, um, you can go over here, and what we want to do is go into this little shrine area. And there's going to be three old men. Um, so the one you're going to talk to that one here. Hmm, good to see you here. No need to know why you came. Claire sent you here, didn't she? This girl is a handful. I'm sorry, but I must test you. Not to worry, you are only to answer but a few questions. Ready? What are your Pokemon to you, friend? Oh, I understand. What helps you win battles? Training. Oh, I understand. What kind of trainer do you want to battle? Anyone. Oh, I understand. What is the most important for raising Pokemon? Love. Oh, I understand. Strong Pokemon, weak Pokemon. Which is more important? Both. Hmm, I see you care deeply for Pokemon. Alright, so basically all those questions that he asked um, actually uh, affect you. Um, I'll talk about that later, but um, right now, Claire comes along. So, how did it go? I guess there's no point in asking. You did fail. What? You passed? That can't be. You're lying. Even I haven't been approved. Sweet. We, uh, we've been approved before a gym leader. Claire, this child is impeccable in skill and spirit. Admit defeat and confer the rising badge, or must I inform Lance of this? 
<sighs> I understand. Here, take this rising badge. Hurry up, take it. So finally, the bitch gives us rising badge, which is our eighth and final Johto badge. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, it'll allow us to use waterfalls outside of battle. And yeah, Claire, reflect up on what it is that that you lack and this child has. So she runs off. And uh, by the way, have you heard of Lugia? All right. So um, about the quiz uh, that the, the test. Um, basically, um, there are no wrong answers, but if you choose the compassionate answers, um, in crystal and gold, heart gold and soul silver, you can uh, receive a Dratini that knows extreme speed from the old guy. If you come back, uh, I guess we'll do that off camera later on. But if you swim over here or surf, sorry, uh, you can get a Dragon Fang. Um, a Dragon Fang is an item that boosts the power of Dragon-type moves. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's pretty useful. I'm going to see in uh, the later part of the game again. Alright, so looks like we're going to be um, going back to the entrance of the Dragon's Den. So, uh, let's go ahead and go back to the entrance of the Dragon's Den. A huge swirl of water. Use Whirlpool again! Um, alright, so at the end of that, um, the old man talk, uh, talked to us about Lugia and saying that we should go back to uh, New Bark Town to uh, get something. So when you go back to the entrance, or near the entrance, Claire's gonna show up. Wait, I'm sorry about all this. Here, take this as my apology. So she gives us TM59, um, which contains Dragon Pulse. In Gold, Silver, and Crystal, she gave us Dragon Breath, and Dragon Pulse, in my opinion, a lot of a better move. So she's also telling us to go to uh, New Bark Town. Um, give it your all. All right. Um, so it looks like we're done in the Dragon's Den, and we're gonna be going to New Bark Town. Uh, my repair wore off. Okay. So when you leave the Dragon's Den, you're actually gonna get a phone call from Professor Elm. Hello, Jeremy. How's it going? I've gotten a uh, hold of something really neat. Swing by my lab and pick it up. See you later. Click, click, click. Um, so, uh, looks like Professor Elm also wants us to go to, uh, New Bark Town. Go back home. So, let's go ahead and do that. Um, no, I'll, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Um, alright. So, here we go, and flying back to New Bark Town. Alright, here we are, back in New Bark Town, and we're gonna be talking to Professor Elm, who wants us. Um, yeah, let's see what happens. So Lyra's here as well. Jeremy, did you collect all eight badges? That's so cool. The professor's waiting for you. Well, I was going to bring us to the prof uh, professor. I can't speak. Hi, Jeremy. You never cease to amaze me. Thanks to you, my research is going great. Take this as a token of my appreciation. So we got the Master Ball. The Master Ball has a 100% catch rate, but it's very rare, so I recommend that you keep that for something very special. The Master Ball is the best. It's the ultimate Pokeball. It'll catch any Pokeball without fail. I already told you guys that. I think you make a much better use of it than I can, Jeremy. By the way, we just had a group of beautiful Kimono Girls looking for you. Jeremy, people are talking about you. I heard you helped the Kimono Girls. You've been helping all these people. You make me so proud to be your friend. Aww. Alright, so, uh, the Kimono Girls are waiting for you at the Ecotique Dance Theater. So, that is, um, going to be our next destination, actually. And, uh, yeah, let's go there to the, uh, the Ecotique Dance Studio. Um, there are trainers, uh, on the route just beyond, um, Blackthorn City, just south of it. But I'm gonna do that off-screen because they don't really have any new Pokemon or anything. So, um... I guess that's it for this part. Uh, so in this part, we got to the Dragon's Den and completed the Dragon's Den challenge, or not challenge, the test. And Claire finally gave up the Rising Badge to us. And uh, yeah, so in the next part, we're gonna be challenging the Ecrotic City Kimono Girls in the Dance Theater. But I don't know. We're gonna see what else happens in the next part. But for right now, this is Triforce Plus One, signing off.